So I just finished recording book reviews about these five books, okay? And so I'm gonna talk about why I batch record, the importance of batch recording, and what you can do to batch record your YouTube content, okay? Let's talk about it. It's Kyla Denayo, and today we're talking about how to batch record content for YouTube, okay? So batch recording means when you are making a whole lot of something, right? Like someone whips up a batch of brownies. That's more than one brownie, <laughs> okay? So I just started making YouTube videos in March 2022 and I immediately started batch recording. But wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I am also three years into podcasting and I like to batch record and batch edit my podcast content. So I already knew that that was gonna work for me. I'm a new wife, I have a toddler, and so my life is busy. My days can look completely different, right? The kiddo's at school today, tomorrow she may be sick, she may need to be here, something may happen, we might need whatever. So how am I gonna stay consistent? I need to work when I know I have time and get it all done, okay? So for me, the biggest way for you to batch record content is to always have content, all right? I read about three to four books every week, which means as I'm reading, I'm getting to the end of a book and then I'm getting to the end of another, then I'm getting to the middle. There's always content. These five books, like I said, I just recorded. These books are rating. <laughs> these books I'm reading right now. So I'm in the middle of these books or have am close to being at the end of them. And then I also still just have a book here. So I always have content. I always have books around so that I'm constantly getting to the end of a book, right? If you're constantly getting to the end of the book and you do book reviews, then you always have stuff to talk about, <laughs> okay? Yeah. For my podcast, I talk to lawyers who either don't practice or have really fun side hustles or hobbies. So what I'll do is every season is 16 episodes. I like to record at least 14 episodes before the season even starts so that I know I will have episodes ready for the entire season, okay? And this has worked for me. I've gone 80 episodes without ever having to do a rewind episode to some old content, consistently fresh content, right? So when you always have content, it's always time for you to record, okay? And so you don't have to be a booktuber in order to have content, right? Let's say you record about tech. Every time you hear about a new piece of tech, make some notes, jot down something, and that way you'll be like, oh, what's this note for? Oh, right, I need to record that, or whatever it is. Let's say you cook a new recipe, and then you're like, oh, that's right, I need to share it. Keep that in your mind that you need to share it, okay? The next thing that I do to batch record is that I am always recording something, okay? I'll put up a little clip here, me walking through, looking at my desk. I like to say, just recorded, who knows when you'll need it, okay? You have no idea when you'll need something. So I'm always recording. When I shoot thumbnails for my videos, I record. I keep my camera rolling. When I'm recording podcast episodes, I'm recording stuff in the background. I'm always recording because you have no idea when you will need it. I mean, I'm talking about, look at this. I'm putting labels on my kids' yogurts for school. But I put that up with a cute song and it worked as a short. So just always be recording. If you get into the habit of always recording, then it will be nothing. Then it won't even feel like work for you to sit down and record five book reviews, which for me is five videos, which is five weeks of content, right? So just always, 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 always be recording, okay? So I'm so glad you're here to learn all about why I batch record and how to batch record, okay? If you're enjoying the content, subscribe to the channel. I talk all about books. I talk about being a lawyer. I talk about my life. <laughs> um, I talk all about my life, which includes being a podcaster, loving books, being a lawyer, being a toddler mom, all right? So let's get into the last two points here. So the next point is to make it easy, okay? And when I say make it easy, I mean, if you already have something to do that day and you can just add your reviews to it and you can add recording to it, do that, okay? I work from home, which means most of the time I look like this, all right? I'm up at five in the morning working, getting stuff done because it's two hours before my family wakes up, right? Husband's asleep, kiddo's asleep. I can have uninterrupted time to get things done, all right? I, but I typically look like this. Now, why do I have this video? Because you're always recording. Remember I just said, always be recording, okay? <laughs> but when you are always recording, you always have content, you always have stuff that you can just use. So because I look like this most of the time, when I have a podcast recording and I'm gonna be on video, I already know I'm gonna put on lipstick, I'm gonna put on eyeliner. 
that's it for me. Lipstick and eyeliner. But that's a stretch for me because most days I don't even have that one, okay? Most of the time, I don't even have time to open the curtains because I'm working. <laughs> so if I have a podcast recording that day and I know I have to be cute, I have to put on a clean shirt, I gotta do something to my hair, why not record videos that same day? I'm already up, I'm already dressed, I'm already ready to be presentable with the podcast guests. Why not just record some YouTube videos either before then or after that, okay? So make it easy for yourself. Okay, and so the last point here is make it obvious. Now, I learned make it easy and make it obvious from the book Atomic Habits, which is a great, great book. Okay, and so make it obvious for me means putting books on my desk. Now, this is my office. This is where I come to sit down to work. This is where I come to sit down to edit. Behind that door is my podcast studio. This is my domain. Books piled up on my desk, I will not forget. I will come try to sit down with my laptop and be like, why do I have all of this stuff here? Right, I got this hiding on the floor. I will come and sit down to work and be like, what is all this stuff? That's making it obvious, <laughs> okay? When your desk is literally covered in books, then you know, oh, I did read that book. Oh, I need to record that. Why is that book there? Oh, that is a book review that needs to get done, okay? So you gotta make it obvious, whatever obvious means to you. Now for me, the stack of books really helps because I do take notes as I'm reading books and I'll show you what that looks like. So I have a number of different bookmarks, but then also I'll just take notes about the really important points that I need to mention. But when you read as many books as I read, plot lines get jumbled, stories get, the enthusiasm for the book gets lost. Like I can't really go a month and then read about a book. But these are all books from the library. They're not gonna let me have them out for too long. <laughs> so that's the first point. The second point is you're just gonna lose some of the enthusiasm, some of the joy, some of the excitement about the book. Whether it's a book I would reread or not, I need to make sure I'm talking about the books within a relatively short time frame. okay? I try to, three weeks is a stretch because again, if I'm reading three to four books a week, by that third week, I have 12 plot lines in my head. That is way too hard, <laughs> okay? So just the last little bonus here, I wanna show you what my calendar looks like right now. This is all the content that I have recorded. So here, we'll go on in. Let me turn on the screen record. So I'm going to open up Google. I keep everything there. I'm gonna go to my YouTube topics and look at this. So you see right here everything that has been published. Everything in green is recorded and is waiting to be edited. All right, as it says here, it says edit. And then the things in pink were for, was for the confidence series that I was doing in the month of March. And then everything that's in green here again has been read and recorded and is just waiting to be edited, okay? So whatever, listen, batch recording works <laughs> because look at all this content. I got content for literally months that's just waiting. And I do like to switch things up. This is just my own little thing. So I do like to read different authors and talk about a different demographic of author, you know, whether that's a, a black male author or a white female author or a trans author or whatever. So I do, you know, so I, I have that on here but you can just see look at the difference in all look at all the content that I have here this is stuff that's been batch recorded okay so today I just showed you that I just recorded you gotta be you change that to edit like she owns the place I just recorded that one the entire point of making content is to show people what you're doing. Now, I guess if your life was being a content creator, you could just form your life around your content, but I need to make the content fit my life, okay? I have a toddler. If anything happens and she is out of school the next day or not feeling well or has a field trip or whatever, I can't say, well, I need to record that, right? I mean, I probably could, but I'm not going to because the one thing I can control is when I record content and how frequently I record content. The one thing I cannot control is how my toddler is feeling and whether or not they're going to school, right? So why stress myself with all the things I cannot control and just handle the one thing that I can control, which is batch recording, 
making sure I'm always reading books, making it obvious and making it easy for me. Okay, so while I'm pulling this up to show you guys what it looks like, what my spreadsheet looks like for batch recording, you gotta tell me in the comments, do you batch record? Why haven't you started batch recording? What's your biggest fear with batch recording? So yeah, so that is why I batch record, okay? Go on and take a look at this video here where I talk all about why I started my podcast. And it's really funny to watch because it's gonna take you back a year and you'll get to see what I looked like when I first started, okay? So I will see you in the next video later.